we're always playing this elusive game of when I get there, then I'll be good enough, smart enough, pretty enough, safe enough, then I'll feel secure when I have this amount in my account, and then we get that amount in our account and we still don't feel secure. What's up, y'all? Blessings and blessings from the beautiful Venice Beach, California. It's going down in a beautiful major way. Today's transmission, two things to quit immediately. Now, the first thing to quit, which is highly important and will make you successful in anything that you set your mind to, is excuses. So many of us have so many excuses. We have excuses for why it won't work, for why it will, but we're not ready. We have excuses for days. And I challenge you to let go of and quit making excuses for why it's not working, for why it's not happening. I challenge you to step in, step up, and claim your life. To declare what it is that you want and then to get to work in manifesting it. Now the manifestation process happens in many ways. One is the declaration, right? Speak what you seek until you see what you said. That means you declare it, you affirm, that is mine, right? You speak from an already knowing that it's on its way because everything is, everything is always moving and always changing and always shifting. And so when we align ourselves with the vibration of that which we are calling in, we become a receptive space. Now that's number two, or the part two to the manifestation process, which is you must be receptive. You must be open to receive. I have met so many people and I have been this person that said I want this and I want that and then the universe delivered it in a packaging that I wasn't necessarily expecting and I wasn't able to receive the gift. I wasn't able to receive the love. I wasn't able to receive that which I had asked for months, years before. And so using the metaphor of a cup, so many of us have our cup upside down. So it doesn't matter how much rain, it doesn't matter if it thunderstorms, it doesn't matter if I take a hose and pour water on your cup. If your cup is flipped upside down, there is no way that you can receive. And now thing number two to quit is waiting for the right time. I find that this is literally the most detrimental thing that has ruined lives all over the world. So many of us are waiting for the right time and we're getting ready to get ready and we're sitting on the fence and we're talking about what we're going to do next year or next month or next week. And the key to the whole thing is taking action now, like literally now. That means pausing this video and immediately setting into motion by taking some type of action that has to do with that which you are calling in. If it's around your relationship, take action now. Pause the video, call your mother, call your father, call your girlfriend, your boyfriend, tell them that you love them. If, you, if it's a better relationship you want, do it now. If it's more money that you're calling in, stop the video right now and declare what it is you want, right? Because so many of us don't really pay attention to how much is enough. And we're always playing this elusive game of when I get there, then I'll be good enough, smart enough, pretty enough, safe enough. Then I'll feel secure when I have this amount in my account. And then we get that amount in our account and we still don't feel secure because we're constantly putting the carrot further and further away. And so figure out what it is that you actually need, really, let's say one because you don't need it. What do you need in order to thrive in this lifetime? Then literally make a plan. Ask yourself, what can I eliminate that is a distraction or something that is draining my financials right now? Then ask yourself, what type of life would I like to live? Is it one where I'm constantly chasing after more and more money, needing more and more in order to be happy? Or the type of life where I am content while also being excited about what I could build and create? So guys, if you get nothing Nothing else out of this video. The two things to quit is excuses and waiting for the right time. I'm Preston Smiles. If you are new to the tribe, new to my vibe, new to the Love's Voice family, and you're on Facebook or YouTube, I ask that you leave a comment, tell me what came up for you listening to this video, and also please share it with somebody who you think will be inspired. I love you so much. Blessings and blessings. I am, we are, hashtag Love's Voice is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love. Love, be love.